Hey, together, and the Black Dragon's back, and I welcome all of you to another part of October's Outlast. At the moment, I'm staring down a dark and black hallway. I know not exactly the po uh, point where we stopped last episode, because we stopped inside of the bathroom right here. But whatever, there was nothing interesting in there anyway, so... We are outside here. Let's see... Hello. Well, okay, still need the camcorder. It looked like I can see without it, but... Alas... Okay... That's a lot of hiding places, I have to be totally honest. Let's hope I don't need them. I look at him and I can hide. Yeah, no, I think I pass. I don't hear anything threatening. You know, if this would be out, uh, not Outlast, this is Outlast. If this would be Fallout, I would check all of those lockers, but uh, this is not Fallout, so therefore I'm not checking the lockers. But I'm gonna see what this journal has to say. From our Traeger! Oh! Uh, to P. Walsh. Okay, subject Annapurna. Annapurna? Employee number whatever. Mr. Walsh. Please accept the immediate resignation of orderly five whatever David Anapurna and process him as a patient of Mount Massive to treat his persecutorial delusions. Treatment should continue until the time of his death. Thanks, buddy. Rick Traeger, Merkur of R and D. So who? Is David Anapur Anapurna? And why did Traeger want him to be a patient? Who was? He was an employee, obviously, and Traeger wanted him to be a patient for what reason? That's okay. You know, I kind of figured that slowly opening doesn't do too much good either. Because if there is something bad out there, it's gonna see you. It's gonna eat you. Also, is there humming? No, there's no humming. And if there would be... But that's good to know. So that's the blood path still here. So what's that? Besides, not the blood, pa blood path. Let's see. Probably nothing in here that can kill me. Since it's not on the path. Battery! How many batteries do I have now? Eight. Sounds like someone was coughing or like... <gasps> oh, there's fire! Nice! Now I see fire. But I'm on the mountain. Ugh. Not too big of a fan of this situation right here. Everything's burning. I have my hands up in the air. I have my hands up in the air. Okay. There's some. To All of it. Murkoff took so much from us. Used us. Turned us into these things because nobody cares about a few forgotten lunatics. So let it burn. Burn the whole goddamn thing down. Get out. Turn on the sprinkler system to extinguish the fire. Um, no, wait, that were notes. Um, let it burn. I'm not the only victim here, not by a long shot. I watch a man wait to burn to death, the most painful death imaginable, rather than stay in this place. Well, you know. I kind of can understand it. If you go through hell, I can kind of see that burning to death would be a lot quicker of a death than staying in here. So, yeah, kudos to the man that has seen hell and thinks that burning to death is the easier way to die. There's actually kind of a Rammstein, uh, Rammstein song about this, I just realized. So, 
Yeah. Oh, a squozy place. Anything over there? Nope, nothing over there. A squozy place. Squozy place means I can be safe from big guy. Ooh, is that who I have to face off against this time? Hey, I can't interact with the door, so I assume that that's that. Let's see. Do I have to interact with big guy? Okay, that's blocked off. I have the feeling that big guy is gonna be my competitor this time. You must first turn on the two valves. It's this story again. Okay. Nothing over there. A hanging man over there. And that's... Let's make a quick screen of that. Just to make sure that people know what the hell is going on here. Hey. See what I told you? Big guy. If the squoze is nearby, big guy is also here. Is he found to find me? I mean, I'm not that well hidden, to be totally honest. Also, I still don't know. Can big guy kill me in one hit? Or does he also take more hits? Give him a few more steps. Still heard the chain. I mean, I know that I can outrun him. I have to find another safe place, though. Yeah, whatever. Let's just... Let's just go. Let's... Poke a little bit. Okay, outrunning him is not the problem. But he's standing... Oh. He's standing right there, so that's the problem. So, I say I go the direction that he came from. So, right past him. And... You, 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 he is right down my neck. Hi, buddy. See? That actually turned out better than expected. There was a little squozy place right here. And for a good time, I can film him here. I haven't seen him this clear in a long time. Okay. Let's take a look here. Hi, buddy. Did you bring your duck? Well, bathe him. Can he come in here? And if yes, how concerned do I have to be about this situation? Ah, uh, no. But I can do this. Kerching. So that was the first valve. That actually turned out rather well. Got the first valve. We have to wash every little part. Uh, um, yeah, go on with that. Bathe him really clean and that slurry of blackness that you have there. So pretty sure that I have to go just straight ahead to get to the next valve. Would be nice to know though where Chris is at the moment so that I can run past him effectively. Kind of thinking about waiting to see him and then running past him, but that's gonna take some time and I don't wanna waste too much time again. Hmm. Should I? Ah. Uh, I can run back here anytime. So let's just. Let's just do this really quick. I don't know where I'm going. Let's go in here. Did you see me? Well, according to the music, you probably didn't see me, so that's actually helpful for me. Now I only have to wait for his chains to disappear completely from my uh, radar. And once that has uh, happened, then I'm free to ro roam around out there. Did you just throw up? Oh no, he's checking. He's checking. <sighs> Chris, 
Would you kindly fuck off? I don't hear his chains anymore. I don't hear him anymore. Gonna assume I'm clean. Okay, I am clean, that's at least something. But... I don't see a valve in here, so... I'm clean, but not at the place that I need to be. So I actually ran just past him without being at the place that I need to be. So that actually didn't do me any good. So great. Yeah. Hey, hey, big guy. I'm standing right here in the open. He really doesn't see me. It's actually kind of comedic. And he fits perfectly behind that thing there. Still won't see me? Chose to ignore me, huh? Totally didn't see me. It's actually kind of comedic. But now he's standing there. So, I'm kind of unable to move right now. I think. Or not? I don't know where he is. Where he is. So let's just... Let's just run past him. Let's just do this here really quick. Whoa! Let's run around here really quick. Okay, I know where I need to be. But... It's... In combination with a few problems, like... Big guy Chris standing right in the way. So let's do this. Run around here. And get in here. And oh god, he saw me. Hi there, big guy. Yeah... I kinda thought that this was a dumb idea, so let's try this again. Follow me, Chris! Follow me! And I will show you the world. Shining, shimmering, and... Are you still interested in following me? Okay, we're gonna do this one more time with feeling. No! Bad. Bad, Chris. <sighs> okay. So, need to whoop the loop around him. And not be a dumb about that. So, I'm just gonna run now. Hi hey there. Ugh, I'm angry. I'm Big Bad Chris. And I'm gonna buy me some time slamming doors shut. Slamming two doors shut. Buying me more time. And I'm hiding in here and waiting until you're gone. So that I can do my things in peace and quiet. If you don't slam down the door, I also would appreciate that very much. I don't hear any door slamming. But he's still in the room. Let let the door be. Do you still hear him or is it just me? Nope, that's still him. Can you move on? Okay, the chains disappear. 
Gonna do this really quick. Third chunk. Gonna go in here again. And I'm suspecting that it's gonna come back. Ha 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 ha! Knew it! As soon as you activate things like this, you always have to hide. So now I have to wait for him again. Gonna slam in the door now. Yes, no, maybe so. I'm gonna have to wait for him now till he leaves. And once he leaves, I'm gonna run past him. I think down to the squosy part again to make sure that I'm safe. Then I'm gonna wait till he's gone away, then I run past him, hide inside the closet in there, activate the thing, and then I'm gonna run away. But before I can do this, I must make sure that I can leave this place. It's all up in my business out there. Okay, I'm gonna say that I'm safe now. Ah, and even if. Big, stupid, dumb, fat. Chris can't catch me anyway. Okay. You know that kinda worked a treat. And wow, that is a horrible wow. That looked terrible, sorry. But now I'm soaked. And I can go through here. I kinda don't think that my little friend that sat here is all too happy about me turning off everything, but he has to live with that. Hi! See? Well, I don't know if this was really about me turning off his fire. Well, turning off fire. Um, and more about an something else here, but... You know, finding out stuff and whatever. I can't actually go in here. Oh, someone made my favorite cereal! Bowl of fingers. Hmm. And it's fresh. Something in here? Blackness! Hello? Maybe a battery? Just a hiding place? Am I in danger? Don't feel like I'm in danger, I have to be totally honest. Okay, yeah, there's just this path. I wanna take a look around because if I find batteries, I kinda have the strange feeling that jumping down there is an option. An option that I'm not gonna take, if not forced. But other than that, seems to be nice and quiet right now. Didn't have that in a long time. Okay, there's the elevator. That Dr. Traeger stopped with his fucking head. Okay. The outside. Did I miss something here? Because of the ghostly sounds? I'm gonna take a look around here because if there are any folders, I'd like to have them. Let's see what this one says. MK Ultra. Good song. Program CIA Mori. Okay. Uh huh. Too far. Subject Special Research Bluebird. Uh, one general problem. For the past several months, Bluebird has been endeavoring to assertion by research, study, instructions, and some uh, practice. Practice what value, if any, can be diverted from SI, sleep induction. And H, hypnotic techniques when applied to war and specific agency problems. Okay. Three, can we create by post H control an active contrary to an individual's basic moral principles? That's a good question. 7. Can we guarantee total amnesia under any and all conditions? 8. Can we alter a person's personality? How long will it hold? And 17. What are 
full details on a sleep inducing machine. So, piecing that a little bit together, does that mean they were um, actually trying to um, create something like an unknown super soldier, so to speak? Someone who can, who they can bring to do their stuff while he's asleep or under hypnosis, no matter what their moral um, thoughts are, because um, the idea probably behind that was, even if you say you cannot kill, you're a total pacifist, you're unable to kill and whatever, under the uh, hypnosis and under the, being the influence, under the influence of the hypnosis, they will make you kill people and with um, amnesia at the end, so you don't remember it, so you can be sent out to kill someone and not know anything about that action at all. Is that what I'm getting at here? And sleep-inducing machine. So it's not really like a hypnosis, but they want to put someone into sleep via machine. Interesting. The plot thickens. More or less. We're not gonna go out in this episode, by the way. We're gonna explore the little bit that's around here. Hopefully find another thing, another folder. I mean, there's a lot of folders, but apparently they are not relevant for us. This is also not relevant. You are dead, my friend. Yeah, they also don't have any batteries for me. Yeah, well, we made it past Chris. So this is where Father Martin was. And he ran out there, so he's waiting out there somewhere for me. And isn't that the elevator that I got stuck in, where Traeger stuffed his head in? Because if so, where the hell is Traeger? And also kind of fall down there. But if this is the elevator, then where is Traeger? I don't see him. That makes me a bit... That makes me a bit suspicious of stuff that's going on right here. Because if this is actually... Okay. That's... That's questionable. Either Traeger's not really dead, or someone took his body away from there. What is even more questionable, because who would do that? But whatever, we're gonna figure that out in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. If you did, please leave a comment down below. I really would appreciate that. I hope to see all of you in the next part of Outlast. So, bye!